In this video, I'm going to show you how to read the equation of a circle. So chances are you might have seen a template like this, or a formula, and this is the basic equation for a circle. It actually gives us a little bit of information. When we are looking at a circle, some of the information we get from this are the location of the center point, and that comes from the two values h and k. Also, from this r on the end, we get the radius of the circle. And the radius is the distance from the center to the edge. So let's go ahead and actually take a look at a circle and see if we can start reading off some of this information. Okay. So for this circle, if I want to determine its center and its radius, I can do that. The first two numbers I'm going to look at are the ones on the x and the y. Now, if we look at our template, we notice that x minus h and y minus k. So I want to read this one in much the same way. So I really want to look at it as x minus 2 squared plus y minus a minus 3. Now notice how this doesn't really change the problem. When you subtract a negative number, you still get a positive number. But what it does is it now fits our formula just a little bit better. So we can identify that center point. Very good. All right, now we want to start looking at this number on the end to determine the radius. In the formula, this number is the radius squared. So be careful, don't take this number as it is, but think to yourself, I want the radius squared to actually equal that number on the end. If you want just the radius by itself, it means you actually have to square root both sides of our little simple equation. So what do we get for the radius? Well, if we square root the top and bottom, this will just turn out to be 4 thirds. And there you go. If you'd like to see some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.